Hey guys, today we want to talk about the ultimate fretboard memorization drill. We'll see you inside the video. Hey guys, it's James here from eBay's Guitar and welcome to another episode of our podcast interview series, Real World Bass Heroes. I'm super excited to have Jazz Moss back. How are you doing? I'm good, James. Thanks for having me. So one of the things I love to ask fellow professional bass players is what exercises and drills do they use to learn and memorize the fingerboard? I find this one super interesting. So Jazz is going to take us through what we call the ultimate fretboard memorization drill. We'll show you how it works. So to make this lesson super fun, I'm actually going to get Jazz to teach me the ultimate fretboard memorization drill and really put me on the spot. But first off, Jazz, why is this drill so powerful? Well, there's a few reasons why this drill is so powerful. Number one is it gets you away from shapes and patterns so you can feel less restricted when playing bass lines and other things on the bass guitar. Number two is it uses the full range of the neck. And number three is because we're using triads to play this exercise, we're really learning fundamental harmony. So just before we get going, Jess, how did you originally learn this drill? Well, this drill was actually not from a bass player. It was from my old saxophone teacher. So many years ago, I used to be a saxophone player and uh, he showed me this on saxophone and then I just transferred it and put it on the bass guitar. And what's cool about this is there are often drills that work on other instruments which can really transfer to the bass really well and also start pushing you out of that comfort zone. So I'm excited to learn this. Also, to help you guys along, we put together a completely free PDF so you can see everything we're discussing today written out in standard notation and tab. There's a link in the description below. So Jazz, how does this drill work? So we're going to start on the note F and we're going to play six triads and we're going to play them two octaves. So we're going to go from this F here right up to this F. Okay, so show me the first triad. What is it? So it's just a simple F major triad. So we're going to start with the notes F, A, C, F, and then A, C, F. Okay, let me give that a go. Perfect, and we play it back down like you just did, yeah. Brilliant, what's next? Then we're gonna play an F minor triad. So we're gonna go F, A flat, that's the minor third, C, F, A flat, C, F, and then back down again. Okay, let me give that a go. So quick question, does it matter how you play these notes on the frets, because on the fretboard, because there are multiple ways of fingering this, aren't there? I don't think it matters too much on, yeah, which notes you play. You can use open strings. I saw you were using open strings there as well. Um, but yeah, just find what's comfortable for you. So Jazz, talk me through triad number three now. Okay, this is where things get really interesting. So now we're going to take the note F and we're going to start on the note F. But now this F is the major third of a triad and it's the major third of D flat major triad. So this is effectively a first inversion D flat major triad. Correct. Yeah, let me see if I can play it. Perfect. Like that. Brilliant. I've got that down. What's next? Now, this F is the minor third of a triad. So it's first inversion as well, but it's D minor first inversion. So oh. D minor first inversion triad. Okay, let's try that. So, 
Yeah, perfect. So what I love about this exercise so far is he's encouraging us to explore other shapes and patterns. It's so common for bass players to play D flat starting at the fourth fret on the A string, when actually there are notes of the D flat major triad which are lurking on the E string, which is really important to know. So hopefully you can see how this really starts opening up the whole of the fretboard. So Jazz, talk me through triad number five. So now this F that we were playing, that we're starting on, is now the fifth of a major triad, right? So it's gonna be the fifth of B flat major. So that's effectively a second inversion B flat major triad. Correct. Brilliant, let me play it. Okay, so that's triad number five. This is totally melting my brain here. <laughs> Great stuff for a dyslexic. And let's try triad number six, what's that? Okay, so the final triad number six is actually a B flat minor triad. So the only difference is the, we're going from a major third to the minor third. So this is a second inversion B flat minor triad. Yeah. Let me try that. Okay, I need to work on a little bit of fingering there. Let me try that again. Yeah. So those are the whole six triads. Yeah, correct. Right. Now we've got those down, that is much more challenging than it looks to put together. So I'm off to practice that now. So what I would love to hear is Jazz put the whole thing together slowly and out of time. I'm gonna play the chords on the top so that you can hear the harmony running through that. So let's do it together. Yeah, let's do it. So that's the exercise slowly. And the cool thing about this exercise is what we've shown you is just the tip of the iceberg because you can take it off all 12 notes that we use in music, which is really, really cool, which really start to open up and expand your command of the fretboard. So right now, I wanna hear this up to tempo. I wanna challenge jazz. What tempo would you like to play this at? Let's play this exercise, all six triads at 100 BPM and we're going to play eighth notes. Brilliant. Let's see where this can go. Guys, as you can see, this is a super, super powerful exercise, isn't it? So make sure you grab the free PDF so you can see it written out in standard notation and tab. And also that free PDF will show you written out in all 12 keys. So that's the end of today's video. Just wanna say massive thank you for watching it. And I also wanna say a massive thank you to my co-host, Jazz over here. It's really super exciting to get inside some of the ideas that have come from the saxophone that you've applied to the bass to really gain a command of the fretboard. Thank you so much. No worries, James, thank you. That's it for now. If you'd like to start skyrocketing your bass playing and what the next stages of what to do to become the best bass player possible, make sure you head over to ebassguitar.com and check out the Bass Lab Plus. There's a full step-by-step -step program there. If you want to accelerate your results even further, you can work directly with Jazz on our Bass Lab VIP program. He is one of our coaches over there. So there are links in the description below and you can take the Bass Lab Plus free for a test drive for 14 days. Cheers, I've been James from ebassguitar.com. Catch you next time.